cozy rooftop bases, a game with near endless relaxation, and a fun new twist on the survival game genre. Welcome to today's episode of Simply Honest, the show where we give you an honest yet simple first impression of the latest games with a little bit of gameplay sprinkled in. I'm your host, Nico Silverado, and today we are tackling I Am Future. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of today's review, I would like to take a moment to give a special thanks to the developers of I Am Future for sending us a review copy and giving us an opportunity to dive headfirst into the game. As a longtime enjoyer of various survival style titles and games, I find that this is a very exciting opportunity to see a new twist on a personal favorite genre in gaming. I Am Future is a cozy apocalyptic survival game where you maintain your very own farm, explore a mysterious flooded world, and create your very own cute robot helpers in order to make the coolest and coziest rooftop base in the land. Released on November 13th of 2024, I Am Future announces its official 1.0 release that invites players both new and old to the scene of the game where we are gifted with amazing quality of life updates, robotic minions, and an exciting experience that hooks you into the cozy environment of the game. One of the biggest things that gave me a lot of excitement when I was reviewing this game was the overall visuals that gave me a very strong and powerful impression on how this game was going to feel during the course of this review. With a very cheerful and comforting blend of colors, all of this was topped with a very wonderful sounding soundtrack for both day and night cycles. And before I even got into the more detail oriented and fine tooth combing of what this game had to offer, I felt that this game had a very powerful and very well-rounded product for a 1.0 release. As I took the time to look at the various design choices, the colors and the musics of the game, I found that I Am Future provide what I would consider a very visually stunning experience. With the game itself being labeled a cozy survival game, you oftentimes can expect games that would have bright, vibrant colors, comfortable soundtracks, and an overall environment that allows the player to have a fair degree of freedom in order to interact with the world while still being immersed into the theme. During the course of my gameplay of this game, I Am Future provided really everything that I just stated and a little bit more. The game itself had a beautiful array of colors, a very visually appealing UI that allowed me to still be comfortable in navigating the game, and it also had a very good amount of information that didn't cause, in my opinion, a sense of overload or a sense of being lost within the game itself. Now, before we continue further on with the game, I would think it's important to understand that in my experience of playing various styles of survival games with other titles of various sizes, there's always a form of a, for lack of better words, a formula of survival games. There is a composition, there's a goal set, and a lot of survival games have a tendency to be very similar in, to each other in regards to how you create, craft, to gather all these various materials, and even in some cases combat. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, depending on how some studios choose to tackle the challenge of creating a survival game. And one of the things that I felt throughout my course of playing I Am Future is that although they did maintain a pathway to the formula of a survival game, they did a fair amount of personal choices to make their game stand out, especially in terms of gathering, collecting resources, and creating different mechanics that I felt really enhanced the gameplay. One of the nice things that I personally enjoyed in regards to the game itself was the overall pacing and the placement of critical story elements, as well as various tools that allow you as the player to find a, a fair amount of progression without having to commit too much time into the game itself. The 1.0 release offered a lot of very fun features that I felt would really help and enhance the game. As you're able to see, the game has a fair amount of items that I believe really can provide a fun experience for players while waiting for new and fun updating content. Everything from the 25 hour story mode, the character customization, the weather system, all these things felt really well created and in my opinion I found really no issues in regards to the incorporations. With the character customization being centered around you discovering various blueprints and other items throughout the game, I felt that it gave me a sense of reason and a sense of desire to actually look for various cosmetics in order to help enhance my rooftop survivor more. 
Another feature that I felt really stood out to me was the overall day and night cycle system of the game. In other survival games in the past, a lot of times when it comes to day and night cycles, you are obviously usually restricted to only ever being allowed to play the game during the morning and a very, very brief moment in the evening. Now, what I in Future did that I felt was really fun was that they incorporated the ability for the player to be up seemingly endlessly. You are no longer being restricted by a 2 a.m. time clock in order to get so many other items done, but instead they incorporate a hunger system, which I believe ever since the beta, they may have done some minor modifications in order to decrease the amount of rate that your hunger depletes. Even though you are not required to sleep, they still allow sleeping to be a mildly useful tool during the gameplay itself. One thing that I know is, is that as you choose to sleep in the game, a lot of your in-game progresses and times exponentially increase, allowing you to fast forward crop creation, item creation, and other things that require a fair amount of time IRL in order to progress to the game. So allowing sleep to be an actual tool, I felt was a very interesting and very fun mechanic to use during the course of the game's review. The game itself, on top of all the quality of life changes, does have a lot of very fun and very innovative forms of features and animations that I feel really helps spice up the game and giving it a nice, beautiful quality that you don't see in other game titles of other similar genres. One of my personal favorites was the 3D disassembly feature, which added a fun interactive format in regards to gathering and collecting materials while giving the players a more puzzle-like, but also a fun way to interact with the environment in a more in-depth manner. Like I said earlier with the other gathering features, I felt that the animations that they chose to use for the usage of like the hammer, the saw, and the drill were all very fun and very interesting style things to incorporate in the game, again, overall providing a very positive experience for players to have a very in-depth look with all the various environment and materials to make the game more entertaining for other players. Now, of course, with any major review, it's important to remember that there is always positives and negatives with any sort of title. In my opinion, there is no such thing as a perfect game, but at the same time, it's also important to understand that every game is built different in terms of how the style, the goals, and the various things that players may achieve during the course of their gameplay. Throughout my time during this review, I overall found that I had to look really, really deep into the game in order to find certain aspects that I would call, for lack of better words, negative. For me, this game was very well built for a 1.0 release, and I feel like the developers learned a lot from the beta in order to properly give players what they asked for, in order for players to understand the changes that needed to be made in order for things to be seemed more efficient and more entertaining in the long run. Overall, during my initial gameplay, I did feel very much that the game is, as is titled, a cozy survival game. I was able to experience what I felt was a very complete game, give or take some very minor feature issues, such as the minions having some pathfinder issues, or every so often my minions being stuck and unable to continue with their task without me having to save them. But overall, everything that I found throughout the game never really affected my gameplay in a negative way that I felt would require to be mentioned on the review, as again, a lot of my personal negatives were just personal biases that I found throughout the time, and overall, I, I had a very positive experience throughout my time of this review. The music itself was very comforting, the overall design of the environment was very visually appealing, and on more than one occasion I had a fair amount of laughter and joy, especially with some of the various vocal interactions that I would have with some of the companions that you meet throughout the game. I of course would like to see a little bit more interaction with other regions and other areas, such as being able to physically walk over to stores to talk to various NPCs versus the usage of the drone. But again, this is something that I feel like fits the theme, especially in regards to the fact that you are in an apocalyptic world and you are trapped on a roof due to all the flooding. And I think it's important to understand that for anyone who's looking for a nice, comfortable game, I think this is a very nice title to dive into, all because the experience and the product that you receive is a very wonderful product that I believe anyone can enjoy. As we come to approach some of my final thoughts for this game, I want to once again take a moment to give personal thanks to the developers of I Am Future for the opportunity to take a review of this game in order to look at everything while the community is still discovering this fantastic title. 
For a 1.0 release, I would say this game does hit a lot of major check marks in regards to a good direction moving forward and a game that I believe in the future could develop to become something a lot larger. I believe the game has a great opportunity to expand and a lot more features can obviously be added and I believe the creativity of the developers have been very well shown in this product thus far and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. With the various quality of life features that have already been added into the game, I Am Future has the ability to truly grow and become a fantastic comfort game for streamers and gamers of all types and ages. And I greatly look forward to the upcoming major update in 2025. But as always, don't forget to drop a comment below and tell us how you feel about this review. Check out the game available on Steam now. And don't forget to like and subscribe to check out more of our upcoming Simply Honest game reviews. And if you happen to have any suggestions about a game we should check out for the future, please let us know down in the comments section. But as always, I've been your host, Nico Silverado. We'll see you guys all on the next video.